Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of 8. Today I'm playing Robot Combat Simulation Robot Arena 3. In it, you design custom robots that you then take online or against the AI to fight for supremacy, much like in Robot Wars or BattleBots. Uh, so, the game features a number of modes. You have exhibitions against the AI. You also have online matches where you can browse against opponents and then find them there in the server browser. There's also a career mode. Uh, the career mode comes with a bunch of events here, uh, but once you finish an event, you can't actually replay it. <laughs> so, uh, once you're done with uh, all the events, then you're basically done uh, with career mode. And the only way that you can uh, continue or really do career mode events again is by making a new team. But when you make a new team, all of your bots that you made on your old team are all gone. Uh, so what you actually have to do is... Uh, Publish all your bots on Steam Workshop, download them, and then put them into your new team. It's really just an odd way of doing things. Uh, speaking of Steam Workshop, there are a, a good number of designs on Steam Workshop. I've gone in through and kind of downloaded a couple of them uh, that you can go in and copy that then you can kind of mess with on your local machine here. So actually, let me copy uh, this one for the team here. That design is particularly effective. Plus, I like how it's just tornado copy. Uh, I've actually copied one of my designs that I did uh, through Workshop as well. Um, what I'm going to do is just do a new design, show you how that works, since it's kind of like the main crux of the game. So go into the bot lab and create a new bot. First thing you're going to do is make the chassis. You can go through and actually, uh, you know, kind of waypoint make it here. Actually, I don't want it that far out. Let's do it here. Let's do a little, hopefully interesting design here. I'll make it kind of symmetric. There we go. We'll extrude three layers. There we go. Three layers. Uh, and then what you can do with each layer is you can actually go in and re kind of re grab where it's at. You kind of customize it that way. Uh, which is pretty interesting, you know. Once you want to go, if you want to go through and mess with all that stuff, uh, so pretty cool. When I, I'm just gonna do a, a pre-built chassis, just do a square, and then go in and edit the layers, just make the layers a little bit thinner. There you go. All right, so I got my box. <laughs> I'm going to make a pretty basic one because I don't want to really spend the time to to do a lot of stuff. Uh, next thing you do is choose your armor. Uh, so different types of armor have different advantages. I'm going to just do steel because it's strong. Then you have to go in and do all of your components. Now, the game is kind of uh, flexible in a good way in placing your things in, in some ways, and then other ways you actually have to attach it to a certain place. Uh, I'll show you, just run through all the components, make a quick design here. Uh, first thing is the control board, which can literally be placed anywhere inside of your chassis. Uh, so you use the controls over here to move it up, down, left, right, or rotate it. So I'm just going to stick it anywhere. You can have pieces overlap and it doesn't matter at all, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, otherwise you kind of drive yourself insane uh, trying to make all your stuff fit. I'm going to rotate that and move that up. You know, and you don't have to connect any wires as long as it's in there, it counts, uh, which is kind of nice. I'm not going to do any air tanks or pistons or anything like that. I will do power steering because I need to steer. Uh, so we're going to do four wheels here. I'll place one in the front right there. And place one in the back right there. Again, they can overlap with anything and it does not matter. And I'll place some wheels on that in a second. I will need to do some motors, and I want to kind of figure out what I want to do. I think I'm going to do like a... Let's look at the weapons here. You have piercing weapons. So I'll probably do like a spike, a couple spike clubs. You have blunt things that can come down and like strike them. You have blades, which is probably what I'm going to do. You can do some blades in the front. And then motorize things like chainsaws. Uh, so let's do... Well, we're going to need to build some mounts first. Let's do some connectors here in the front. I'm going to take this and rotate this around. 
and kind of move it up and in a little bit more up. There we go. You have to put these anchors in to attach anything to it, which again, like I said, is weird because of how relatively free the game is otherwise with uh, placing stuff. It looks not symmetric at all, actually. Uh, yeah, there we go. And I'm, I'm going to put one in the middle. For the blades. Alright, so I want to go up and back. Uh, maybe up one more. Here we go. Looks good. So those will be my attachment points for all that junk in the front. I'm going to be a front side attacker, uh, definitely. Uh, so let's do some extenders. Do a 20. Other side there. And then I will put some spikes on the end. I like these spike clubs. They're pretty nifty. I might actually want to angle that a little bit. To kind of attack from the side. I think that's probably good. Alright, and then I'm going to do a thingy on that too. Alright, so I want to do a motor. But I want it to be angled. That's what I want. Oh. <laughs> it's like a big thing. Actually, no. That isn't what I want. I want it to go like sideways, kind of. Kind of like that. This piece needs to be shorter. Actually, I don't even think I need that piece if I put a big enough thing on there. Probably put a small one, to be honest. So let's just do a 10. Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright. Alright, and rotate this, so I get what I want, that's what I want. Yeah, let's do it above. Okay. Now yeah, we can put my blades on. Kaboom, there you go. Actually, might even rotate that around. There we go, that'll work. Alright, need some wheels. Yeah, we'll just do the medium wheels. All right, there we go. Uh, next is have to do the controls. Uh, what you have to do is you actually have to select each part and then define what the controls are for. And I'm just going to do W A S D. And we'll do this as W and S. I don't need steering in the back. And then I need this. Turn off will be E. Turn on will be Q. Uh, so that'll be my QE toggle to turn it on and off. And then I can paint it. Where is that at? Oh, yeah, paint job. Uh, so what you can do is you, just, you can pick a texture on either side here. So I'm just going to choose that one. So that'll be for the top and the sides and the bottom. And there you go. There's my disgusting, boring box of death. Uh, so summary. Give it a name. Obviously. Take a photo. Yay. Put it on workshop. There it is. <laughs> so you can find it on workshop. Uh, and we'll go test it just to make sure it isn't totally terrible. Alright, so W. Ooh, yeah. There's our turning. You see, the graphics are amazing. There go, there's my thing. So I think we'll be uh, good to go. That's a pretty quick five minute design there. Uh, so, 
Let's go try it in a thing. So, let's pick Uranus. Can't make any changes while you're in a tournament. So, basically, the tournaments are either two or four bot matches in a bracket, just like, you know, on TV. We'll see how we do. And the different tournaments take place in different arenas. Alright. Haha, ha, flipped you. I think that's it. Yeah, I win. <laughs> I flipped him over. That's all you need to do, because he's going to get a penalty for staying stationary. And there you go. Uh, the physics are very inconsistent, I would say. Um, which leads to some really crazy stuff. Yay. Uranus is the winner. It's always the winner. All right, end of the first round. Um, and as long as you're okay with that, uh, then the game is actually pretty fun. Um, designing your own stuff, and you can download other people's stuff on Workshop. Uh, it's very wonky, but as long as you kind of accept that as that's kind of the way it is, uh, then it's actually, uh, you know, not too bad. And we got a flipper here. AI is actually pretty good too. They know how to control the AI bots. Oop, crap. Alright. Where you at? The camera controls are terrible though. Oh goodness. Oh no! I'm flipped over. Flip me back. Flip me back. Come on, AI. Flip me over. This is why I lost so many tournaments in that other team profile. Because you just get flipped over and you're done unless you build, you know, a that can do both. Come on. Flip. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, we're back in business. Oh, he flipped himself over. Oh no, I flipped myself over. <laughs> oh man. Well, who's going to get counted out first? Yeah, these cameras are terrible. I think I'm getting counted out first, which is not fair, because he was upside down first. Boo! Damn you, Uranus. And that's it. I can never play that, <laughs> that tournament again. Don't know why you can't just reset it for next season, but whatever. Yeah, I'll do another one. Why not? Try Uranus again. And I'll show some of these other... These other ones. My other bot that I made here is pretty similar to this one. I have a thing for blades, I guess. This tornado one is interesting. I'll show that. This is probably the one I've had the most success with. I'll do a tournament with that one next. Alright, Macer. This one has lava and stuff and the little rollers over there that'll kill you. Some of them have, like, tables and stuff you can get knocked off. For even more frustrating randomness. Hey, buddy. <laughs> physics. Can I have physics? Come here. No! Alright. I obviously have a problem with my design. Flip me over. Please. Still causing him damage, though. Oh, he, might actually <laughs> he might actually kill himself into my spikes. Spikes are really effective in this game. I saw it off one of his wheels. Oh, please kill yourself before I get counted out. I took off my saw blade, though. Ah, I think I lost. And I caused way more damage. I oh, know I'm still counted as moving. For some reason. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Psh. Even though I scored way more. Ah, uh, yeah. See, you can see why I've lost <laughs> most of the tournaments I've entered. Now, right, let me show off this other bot. This one's almost not fair. Uh, 
And there's nothing else in career mode. You don't like earn money or anything or unlock anything, which is actually okay. That's fine with me. All right, so this one is basically spikes, and he attached weights to one side of it. I downloaded this from Workshop in order for it to like just kind of rotate. But it deals like an insane amount of damage. Just because these spikes are so overpowered. That's it. I'm done. I didn't even... Like, they don't even do anything. That's it. That's basically how, how I won all the all the tournaments I won. This, this crazy design is just so overpowered. There's other ones with, like, spinning crap. You know, like, spinning spikes are just, like, insanely unfair. Hey. I'm barely touching you, but causing tons of damage. Oh, someone got a goal. Good for you. Yep, oh, flipped him over. Oh, he can drive up the now. I'm like driving on his spike or something. Where are you even at? If the timer runs out, whoever has the highest score, which is whoever caused the most damage, is the winner. Oh, you're just hanging out. Come here. I want to kill you. There we go. <laughs> 6,000 damage. Alright, semifinals. All opponents are ready. Three, two, one, start! If you insist. Why are you even going after the ball? No! No! Stop! You're gonna flip me over. And there we go. <laughs> it's just not fair. Alright. Let's try to win a champion. Oh, stupid emergency. I hate this spot. All opponents are ready. Three, two, one, start! God. Yeah. Yeah. You are upside down and dead. I don't even care. I'm just going to kill you now. Ha 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 ha. You're on fire. You would have gotten countered out anyway. Yay. I am the wiener. There you go. That's it. Uh, that's Robot Arena 3. Um, it's not bad. Uh, it's not great, but it's not bad. It's actually pretty enjoyable if uh, you accept the wonky, f occasionally wonky physics uh, that goes on in the battles. They're, the battles are pretty chaotically fun, especially if you go online and have uh, some human people with their crazy robot designs. The robot designer is flexible without being too strict on uh, where you can play stuff. You know, things that spin like the wheels and the weapons have to be attached to certain components. But other than that, you can place components anywhere inside of your chassis. And it doesn't have to be like, you can just be floating in there, it doesn't matter. Um, so it's actually kind of nice that it's that flexible. Um, the career mode is odd that it just doesn't let you replay anything. So once you complete all these things, which doesn't take very long, I mean each uh, you know tournament, even if you go all the way through, it takes like five minutes. So, you know, you got like an hour and then you're done with <laughs> the career and then you got to start a new team with new bots. Um, uh, the bot lab could use more documentation. Uh, I actually don't, I'm not very comfortable with using piston-based stuff right now, which is why I kind of stick to the spinny stuff because I figured that out. There's basically no documentation. Uh, there's a little help file you can access, but even that's very brief. And it doesn't explain how to get things to actually work well. I mean, kind of the best way of doing it is going into Workshop uh, and checking out some of the other people's designs, uh, which you can do from inside the game too. It's not just, you know, uh, tabbing out and going into Steam. So you see, there's an okay number of uh, designs to go after. It's split up on multiple pages too, so pretty good, pretty good amount of stuff here uh, to check out. So. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a robot uh, combat game, it's a little rough, but you could definitely do worse than Robot Arena 3. That's all I have for today. Till next time.
Bye now.